I'm Shannon Pakoulis and I'm here with Dan the Man, captain of the Toronto Arrows, who just beat Runny. How does it feel to, to win such a big game like this? Yeah, it's fantastic. You know, I think we had another good week of preparation uh, and we're able to get the job done, get into the playoffs. So, um, you know, it's really exciting how our team's been building for the last two months and, uh, you know, reflected in our results and, and a playoff spot. So it's fantastic. Yeah. And the last time you guys faced Runny, uh, they actually beat you 24 to 21. And you guys have been at home playing the last eight games here. You won the last eight games or se last seven games straight at home. Yeah. What What makes it different being at home here and playing those games? Uh, well, you know, in our league, you have to go out to the West Coast and stuff. Those road trips are pretty difficult on the body from a recovery standpoint. Um, but, you know, at home, probably the biggest thing is, is just the crowd. Like, they've carried us in the last 20, uh, 20 minutes of, you know, four of the last seven matches, probably. Uh, we've been pulling out tight ones. So credit to our fans who have really helped us. It's been awesome, the support we've seen this season. And hopefully keep it going into the playoffs here. Yeah, and what do you guys have to do going into the playoffs now? Um, you know, I think the first one is just enjoy tonight, uh, have a mental reset, yeah. but there's a lot of things that we can improve on from today. I thought there was some execution errors that uh, we, we can't have in the playoffs if we want to, you know, keep this, uh, keep this march going. I'm Shannon Bakoulis and I'm here with Steven Ng. So Steven, you came in fresh in the second half of the game. How does that kind of change the momentum of the game for the Arrows in the second half? Uh, honestly, I mean like... We, you don't want rundown guys on the field anymore, so it's nice to bring in fresh legs. Uh, I have a clear mind and everything coming on. You know, you're ready to go. You've been on the bench the whole time, so you're you're fizzing. Yeah. This is Tyler Mulligan from the Toronto Observer. I'm with Sam Malcolm, and he just scored one of the most unreal drop goals I've ever seen in my entire life in the 77th minute. What was going through your mind when you made that kick? Um. What was going through my mind was um, just make it, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, look, we'd, we'd trained it during the week. Uh, we knew that it was going to be a tight battle. And if it came down to that situation, then we just wanted to back ourselves. And yeah, I mean, it came off. And earlier on in the game, you uh, missed a conversion. What goes through your mind when you miss a conversion? And how do you stay positive throughout the rest of the game and make sure that uh, you're not making more, more mistakes? I think you just have to flush it. Um, you know, you always are going to miss conversions at, at some point and it's a matter of how you bounce back from it. Um, but I just got to make sure I just trust my process and yeah, just go from there. And being at home, you're going to have, uh, you've had seven games in a row that you've won. Now with the playoffs, you're going to be able to play in front of your home crowd at Lamport Stadium. How does that affect the team and uh, how does the fans, how do the fans bring you up? Oh, the fans are a, a big influence on us. Um, they're almost like our 16th supporter or 16th, 16th man on the field. Um, so it definitely has a has a big impact on on the on the game. Um, but I mean, we just got to make sure that um, we take this week as no other week, even though it's a, a playoff week. Um, yeah, we're just going to review our game, um, preview who we're who we're going to be up against, and um, look forward to the game. And thank you, Sam. This is Tyler Mulligan from the Toronto Observer. Have a great day. Thank you much. Just